13 News, Kansas News Leader. A day of fun to celebrate the changing seasons is coming to North Topeka this Saturday. The third annual Fall Fest returns to Great Overland Station. Lee Hartman is here with the details, and this is a full day of fun. It is. It's from 10 to 3, so there's plenty of time to come out and enjoy the beautiful weather that is forecasted. Exactly. Jeremy's doing a good job providing us with right. that. What right. is the Fall Fest all about? How did this idea come about three, three years ago when you're debating what to do? Well, I'm a member of C5 Alive, which is a Christian organization that promotes family friendly events in the city. And we've done Easter Fest for eight years. And when we got canceled twice during the pandemic, <laughs> we tried to come up with another event that would work out timing wise. And so we did the Fall Fest and it went so well, we decided to keep doing it. So. Uh, now we're doing it. Uh, this is our third year. So now you've got two festivals a year. Got two of them. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Is this a new location this year? Or have you always gone to Great yes, Overland Station um, for fall? In the spring, we moved Easter Fest to the Great Overland Station, and it went so well that we wanted to move the Fall Fest there. And it's just a much better location, lots of room. It's easy to get to, and everybody really loved it. the Easter Fest there. So we said, why not move the Fall Fest? Now the Fall Fest, it, it is going to be very fun because you need the room. You have a lot of things planned. What's all going to happen? Yeah, and if you've seen these posters around town or ads in the papers, uh, you'll see there's a big list of things. We've got um, a vendor fair and we've got a health fair. We've got a uh, petting zoo for the kids, inflatables, there are lots of carnival games. The kids are gonna have a lot of things to do. Uh, you know, there's the face painting and all of that too. Uh, we've got probably over 100 vendors all together. So wow. uh, it's inside the Great Overland Station and outside. Uh, we've got uh, a partner that does the health fair portion for us, the Emerald City Cosmo Club, and they're all about fighting diabetes. There'll be a lot of people there from Stormont Vale Health to uh, Soul Fire Nutrition will be serving their uh, nutritional drinks and a lot of other things. But you'll have a lot of information and education on health and wellness, some demonstrations of uh, martial arts and uh, ballet dancing even. Uh, I was going to say, you had some live entertainment planned for yeah, as well. Yeah, there's going to be live music outside. We have bands playing, uh, Topeka Big Band and some others. Uh, so there's just a lot going on. It's going to complement a full day of activities happening in, in Noto and the Noto area. And we're going to hear about another event for the evening in just a few minutes. When you, the vendors, you said about 100 vendors. What right. kind of things can people peruse? There, well, there's a lot of craft booths and, uh, you know, some homemade items. There's people selling jewelry and clothing and, uh, like I said, nutritional and health, health products. Uh, just a whole gamut. I mean, you, whatever you can imagine, probably you'll find there. <laughs> Obviously, when you're shopping, you do have to pay for the things that you're purchasing. Right. What kind of fees are associated with the other things? That well, are the admission is free and the, the kids can get a wristband for five bucks so they can be in, on the bounce house as long as they want. Um, but most of the other games are free. Hmm. That's very fun. The entertainment is free. Right. You're going to have some food trucks. So in terms of food, bring some cash yeah, to the food yeah, trucks. Yeah, half a dozen or so food trucks and some other food booths are often a wide variety. Why does C5 Alive like doing things like this? Well, like I say, we like to promote Christian culture, family values. And so that's why we do these events. It it's, gives the uh, nonprofit organizations a place to present what they have to offer that they don't always have another place to do that. So it's for churches and other nonprofits that like to help people. It's a good way for them to get the word out. Well, folks, it's going to be a full fun day. Jeremy's already promising decent weather for it. So 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday, September 16th. That's this Saturday at Great Overland Station. Free admission, just five bucks for a wristband for the kids to get on the inflatables, but a lot of other free activities there. A health fair, the vendor market, a petting zoo, music. Just a fantastic day to enjoy all the fun that there is to enjoy in Noto at Great Overland Station. Lee, appreciate you coming in and telling us all about it. I appreciate it. Sounds like a great time. We'll find out. It is starting to feel like fall out there. We'll see how just how much those cooler temperatures stick around and when the